<laughs> Rich Nemec, my favorite author on Oracle Database. How are hey, you? Hey, great to be here. Well, welcome to Dev Live here at Oracle Open World 17. All right. Well, thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Hey, a couple things have changed. You might have sure. noticed. Okay. So first of all, we are now the center here at the Oracle Developer Lounge. I tell you, and it's a lot of people out here, I'll tell you that. Now, I see you're up on a level. Is that so nobody can photobomb us anymore? <laughs> exactly. Just Although, you know, 10 bucks for anybody who tries. Um, <laughs> <Hey>. so, <laughs> so it has been a very exciting um, show so far, but let's, I, we have to start with Larry Ellison's keynote on Sunday. Sure. The Autonomous Database. Sure. What do you think? Well, I think it could shake a lot of people up. I think they could think, wow, I'm a DBA, is my job gone? And the answer, of course, is no. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, your job is pretty safe for a few decades now. Yeah. I think the job is changing, though. I right. really do. Right. So tell me about like some of the, the discrete tasks. Like, for example, we used to change tape. Yeah, not a lot of people know it, but Larry Ellison himself his first tech job was actually changing tapes on it the mainframe. It not. was. It was in the middle of the night yet. Really? So, so does anyone really want to do things in the middle of the night? Do we want to be paged in the middle of the night? And the answer is no. Isn't it nice <laughs> that that's automated? Right. So what is a DBA going to do? Well, we're going to move PDBs maybe online. Maybe we'll move it to the cloud. I don't mm -hmm. know if you saw my, you mentioned the book. Right. I have on tuning 12C R2. But there's another book out there, just came out a week ago on Oracle Cloud. Because yeah. I believe this is where the DBA's job is moving much more. Uh -huh. And so moving things like PDBs online, doing things online is going to be much more important. And leveraging the big data and IoT that's out there. Right, well, here's the other aspect of the job that's going to change. I mean, if we are going to have major releases of Oracle Database more frequently, sure. there's going to be a lot more patching. But you're not going to do any of that patching. You get the autonomous database. Kim's comes out for the data warehouse in December of 2017. I mean, it's coming out. Right. You're not doing any patching. Patches everything for you. When the database goes to 18C, which it will, and it will come out for 18C, so it's not going to be on the year, 18C for in 2018, 19C, 2019, 20C in 2020. You're on the autonomous database, it patches for you. But what you need to do now is, how do I secure the database? How do I ensure there's no Equifax kind of uh, event at my right. company. So securing all those pieces and looking at the entire topology of your enterprise is going to be key. Wow. All right, so speaking of security, let's talk a little bit about um, obfuscating or data masking or, or that sort of stuff. So and even encryption. I'm not have to, or encryption, right. I'm not going to have to do that anymore? First of all, if you go to the cloud, a lot of people don't know this, but mm -hmm. Oracle doesn't want your unencrypted data and it will not accept your unencrypted data. So first of all, anything in the Oracle Cloud, it's automatically encrypted. It doesn't accept anything else. Okay. But at the same time, you know, instead of doing data redaction or doing encryption and things like this, where it can do that for you, maybe you're looking at privacy aspects. Right. You know, a lot of companies, you know, privacy issues come in where they get sued for privacy breaches and things like that. And the fact that your DBA is not seeing that data or some developers not seeing that data helps you in to, to, to not have an issue like that. Oh, that's a relief. I didn't know that that was already in the database though, and that was part of one of those you know, built-in Well, the features. database has really gone from you know, where it was making it so I could automate tasks. Mm -hmm. you know, I shouldn't be doing a lot of things. I should be automating them, u leveraging these uh, utilities that have been out there in the new database. Right. Uh, now they're moving it from automated to autonomous. You know, it's like a car. You know, you set the cruise control on, it's automated. You don't have to press the pedal. But the vehicle isn't autonomous yet. No. Self-driving car, autonomous. I get Trying it. to make the database fully autonomous. All right, So that then. you could focus on the business more. So no more managing table spaces for me. 
<laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> and that might be a good thing. Okay, what about, what else do you have on here? Let's see, there's creating data, data warehouse or yeah. data warehouses. I used okay. to create a lot of data warehouses. Well, instead of creating those data warehouses, right. they're out there. I mean, you got the Twitter fire hose. Right. Are you going there to see what people are talking about your given product in your company? Right. You have things like Facebook where people are talking about a company. They're thinking about buying something maybe. Mm -hmm. Are you leveraging that? So once you're on the cloud, now you can interface with things like IoT, interface with things like big data. Yeah. And by doing that, now all of a sudden you're bringing new customers. Right. You're making the customers you have happier. You're actually doing things that make sense for the business. Okay, so I get and it. And you're more valuable. Right. You know, DBA, oh, he's here in the middle of the night. I don't know what he's doing, but the system's still running. I'm happy. Right. It's going to move to the DBA just interfaced us with IoT and big data and how we might use robotics in the warehouse. Uh-huh. We're making a difference in the business. We're growing revenue streams. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. We're getting <laughs> Even on a level, we're getting photobombed. <laughs> I got photobombed this morning, just to let you know. Is that Neaton Van Gulliker, the you. author? Yes. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. So, okay. I got photobombed by a bear this morning. I was doing an <laughs> Oracle <laughs> database interview, and a bear comes up, shuffling behind me, showing his you know, product yeah. name. And I'm like, just come on into the interview. Why don't you get in here? And I said, you know. What about the Bears? What do you think about their season? He's like, no. And I'm like, maybe Larry can buy the Chicago Bears. I mean, he's from Chicago. Oh, my gosh. Come on, no. Larry, buy the Chicago Bears. Yeah, there you go. That ought to help. You got an okay. island, you need a team. <laughs> the okay, Hawaiian so, Chicago Bears. So you bring up a very interesting point. My job as a database administrator is evolving. Sure. Um, just like, you know, with companies, for example, you know, Federal Express, a lot of people say Federal Express that their product is actually delivering a package on time. But in reality, if you talk to Federal Express, their true product is managing time. Managing time and managing data. Right. I mean, how and do you get all these packages in the right place at at the exact right time, and the answer is leveraging data. That's right. Leveraging technology, there leveraging you go. Oracle. Right, and so it's a matter of learning to leverage the technology instead of managing the technology. Yeah, you're not running reports anymore, you're building reports that are predictive analytics about what's going to happen, and prescriptive analytics, prescribing so that you'll have great numbers. Right. But you hit it right on the head, you're not administering technology, you're now in your company leveraging technology. So the, the job of the DBA is going to be leveraging data, leveraging technology to the advantage of the company. All right, so I'm worried. Wow, oh, oh, you're not, you, they're serving beer right over there. Do we want to get right. <laughs> but need a beer over here? No. Here's what I'm worried about. Okay. It used to be he who had the best database won. Are we flattening the, the playing field again? Uh, I think that companies that leverage Oracle certainly are getting some benefits. And I, and I could hear, a, as we speak, we can hear Pepper in the background. Pepper, a robot, actually was co-presenting with me yesterday. I yeah. presented with Pepper the robot. <laughs> and she was interfacing with the Oracle virtual private assistant. That was over, her over there doing some Tai Chi or something. <laughs> But what was that again? <laughs> well, the thing is, I mean, if we're leveling the playing field, everybody can get the same powerful database. Where do we innovate? Where do we compete now? Well, you innovate, I mean, where's the future? Pepper, robotics. How do okay. you integrate robotics into your company? Not get rid of people, but use them to leverage technology. Wall Street is backing companies that will leverage technology because there's a lot of companies that won't leverage technologies. And they're doing that to start to disrupt those other business. I call them disruptors. Give me a disruptor where they go into an industry and they disrupt it. Well, how do they actually do that? They're just leveraging technology that's already out there. You have Oracle. You're like a carpenter with the best tool that's out there. Right. But if you're only cutting the wood instead of building some great design, well, you're not taking full advantage of that tool. So mm. does, it leverage, does it level the playing field? Well, not everybody uses Oracle. So not everybody has that advantage. Right. You know, eventually will they get there? Well, if you're faster, maybe they won't. 
All right, then. Well, thank you for coming on today, Rich. It's right. always great to talk with you. Always great for someone to go flying by in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting <laughs> photobombed We don't usually get again. photobombed by authors, but okay. He was signing <laughs> books earlier to Booth. They had a line with him and Charles Kim, the mile long. Oh, that's great. Well, thanks again. We'll be yeah. talking soon. All right. Great to see you again. All right. Have a great day. I put my hand out to shake your hand and you <laughs> I was quick.